Yeah. Always ready. Born ready. Born ready. Die ready. ready. Yeah. So if you guys know like where you're from and how you met, just England, Manchester. I don't I can't remember how we met. Um we met we were living in the same area within a two mile thing, so we used to be known each other for about twelve years. We used to play football together, soccer. So, round ball. <laughs> Proper game. How was it the first time that you guys played together? Not very good. It was okay, you know what I mean? We just weren't very good, just weren't it's not worth talking about, really. You know. What was like the first club that you played? Boardwalk. Where was that at? It's a place where we've got a little room where we years. We used to be years. Oh. A, little, used to be. a little club in Manchester, a small club. Now they have local bands on and all that tackle now and again. I heard a story though where you like threatened a manager of a club that you've been burning down if they don't No, we didn't threaten it, can I? Just travel 400 miles though to do a gig so we, you know what I mean, we, that we told we could do. And then when we got there they said we couldn't so just made him aware of the fact that there was more of us than him, you know what I mean? What has this tour been like so far for you guys? Good. Where are you going? First few gigs were all right, nothing, you know what I mean, nothing like San Francisco was really good, best gig we've done in America. And this one, be good. So that, it's been all right. Have you ever had like a favourite place you play or anything? San Francisco. That was the best gig we've done, I reckon, so far. We don't like songs, no one likes the songs. You be speaking. So is there like a particular song that you guys like to play or a particular song that uh, you're proud of? I'm proud of them all. I like to play them all. Mm. Are you surprised by your success at all or surprised by the success of the album? No, no. no. It went gold in two days though. So? We've got the best songs. So it's bound to, it should do. I'm not surprised by anything, we're the best band. <laughs> Are there any other bands before that you had were a strong influence to you guys? Yeah, loads. Stone Roses, the Beatles, everyone's Stones. The Who, everyone. Everyone who's good. Is there any particular American bands that you guys like? Hendrix, Neil Young. That's about it. Mm. Beastie Boys are alright, you know. But not like I know they're good and that, but all that grunge music. Not so. What do you guys think of the whole punk rock sequence going on? It's not punk rock, is it? It's not punk rock. It's acting. It's pretending to be something. Yeah, it's loads of people with green hair who should really have brown. Making little punk songs and it's not punk. Did one of you guys, one of you guys in the band jam with Neil Young before? Or did... No, did you? Yeah, no, did. So what's it like touring when all these people are It's good. It's good. I can't, you know, I don't stop and think about it all the time, you know what I mean? It's just good gigging. And whether, it, whether we're gigging in Simbuk 2 or we're giving in, gigging in LA, it's, it doesn't matter where, you know what I mean? It's just good to be gigging. Is there a difference of gigs, how they are in America compared to the UK or no? No, not, not when it gets to venues like this, no. Because it's just pretty much the same, isn't it? Such a, like, a wide range and variety of people outside, like fans waiting for you guys. I've never seen anybody like wait outside the palace oh. that early. A record. Well, what can you say? Did you get a chance to chat to any of them on the way in or not? No, I've no, done a bit of signing and that, that's about it. Someone dropped loads of ink on me soon that I'm not really happy about. But other than that, that was it. So what do you think of LA or Hollywood or these Hollywood shows? Do you have any celebrities in your audience ever? We mm, yeah, have had, yeah. But I'm not, I'm not, I mean, I'm not my avid, I'm not asked about name dropping or whatever. Mine does it. So tell me a little bit about the album. Tell me about Shaker Maker. Wasn't there some controversy with Coca-Cola? Can you guys tell me that story? Yeah, they said we couldn't use the lyric, so we just changed it. They thought like we're not brainy enough or our kids are not brainy enough to write another lyric. And they sort of like try to cause a fuss. So we just wrote another lyric, just like fucking walking out that door there. So what was the lyric before? I'd like the lyric before what, the lyric that we were getting done for? I'd like to teach the world to sing in perfect time, and I'd like to buy the world a coke and keep them company. And we just put it in just for the fun, you know, for the crack. And the original lyric that we wrote was Mr. Sifter sold me songs when I was just 16. Now we stopped the traffic lights, but only when they green. 
And that was the original lyric, but we changed it because it reminded us of like that new Seekers thing or whatever, you know, it just reminded us of it and we thought we'd do it. So they caused the fuss and we changed it. No, I, I, I'll use that. I'd like to see what to sing. I think it's right. Now, isn't there, um, isn't Nirvana, the, the, the Nirvana from here, filing a lawsuit against you guys for plagiarism that they yeah. one of your songs? Yeah, like, apparently, yeah. What song is that of yours that they think sounds like that? Sure. No, we're not playing it tonight. It's whatever. Apparently, it's whatever. <clears throat> and that's what it is, whatever. Because everyone's suing us these days and we're asked. It's just music. So you guys sound, you don't think they sound alike? Or? No, I've not even heard, I've never heard of Nirvana. Or whatever they're called. Except for the one that was just recently gone. <coughs> have you guys have any time since you've been on this tour and since you've been putting out this record, have you had any time to go and record new stuff? Or work on new stuff or write new stuff? No, we're only our, kids, our kids are always writing. But we're here at tour. Yeah, we're, okay. we're only a week into the tour anyway. We'll be recording within a couple of weeks. Do you think there's any sort of a difference between a British band and an American band or a male Yeah. What's the difference? You speak different. Does it just change your sound or your style at all to come over here and play? And you don't play a little bit harder over here? And then... no, no. We play hard wherever we go. We just play whatever we play. Don't change it for no one. I don't know, it's nothing to do with us anyway. We're not part of any scene or anything like that. We don't care less about where the band's from. We're only concerned about our own band. But it seems like, for me at least, it seems like once Nirvana you know, came to that tragic end, that there was a law, there wasn't any new music, there wasn't anything that was really great. It seems like once you guys came through your album, there was an <coughs> invasion and there was this huge difference. Did you, can you see that at all? Or did you notice that at all? No, I just, no. No. We're just about doing what we're doing. We don't care about Nirvana. Don't care whether they split up or whether they ended or whatever. Not asked. Nothing to do with us. We're just coming to do what we do. How would you describe your music to people? Amazing. So what, you've got two videos out now. Are you guys yeah. going to do another video soon? Done. Whether we'll have to do another one, we don't know. We've had five singles out in England, so it's different. So we've already done all that, you know what I mean? But if they want another one, then maybe we will. Can't say yet, we'll have to see. So whose side are you? Are you guys on Diana's side or Charles' side? Neither. None of them. Couldn't yeah. care less about the royal family, we shouldn't have one. So what are you going to do after this tour? Go home and record a single and then come back. <coughs> no. Is touring different in the length or the time of it, or...? No, it depends. If you tour for three weeks in America, you tour for three weeks in England, then you're touring for three weeks, aren't you? Is touring something that you can get used to? Yeah. Well, because there's nothing else to do, is there? Alright, Paul, do you guys want to say anything else, or anything else? Do you guys have any sort of mentors or inspiration? Lots of inspiration. Yeah. When you play live? No, I'm gonna play live. No, no, no. When I play live, there's no inspiration. It's just, you know, we're doing it. We're just playing. Alright, cool. Well, I look forward to the show tonight. Alright. Alright, thanks a lot. Nice one.